Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Wassenbauer, and I want to talk to you about something that's important that'll be coming up here soon. So for the longest time, you'll get a patient in if you're a hair surgeon, and they'll be a young 20, 30, maybe even 40 something, and they have family hair loss. And they're starting to notice a little bit here or a little bit there, and they ask me, you know, doctor, what can I do? Well, for the longest time up until this point, there have been a couple of boxes we can put people into. The first box would be medical therapy, finasteride, minoxidil, uh, there's some nutraceuticals that would help, even platelet-rich plasma injections and, and exosome injections, those all kind of fall into that medical category. And then there's the surgical category, right? We take some of this perfect hair from the back and we move it to the top and then it grows. Well, here's what's gonna happen soon. People have always asked about cloning. Well, cloning is not exactly gonna be what you think of it because there's no cloning commercially available now. There's little bits of research being done that are very promising, but it's still gonna take a while to get to where we can grow a hair and then transplant it to somebody who's completely bald. Probably a good 10, 15 years before something comes along. But what we can do is use the cells that are regenerative for your hair. So the dermal papilla cells are what I'm talking about. This is kind of like the stem cells for the hair. It's not technically a stem cell because it really only makes a hair. But here's what you're gonna be able to do. You're gonna be able to cryopreserve some of these hairs from back here, which are genetically perfect. And once those hairs are in a tissue bank, you're gonna be able to call up your hair surgeon like me. And you're gonna say, look, it's getting a little thin up here. And then what we do is we call the tissue bank. I say, I write a prescription. I say, yes, it's getting a little thin. Let's get you a treatment. They're going to thaw out one of your younger hair follicle cells. And they're gonna allow those dermal papilla cells after, after getting them out of that follicle, they're gonna allow those dermal papilla cells to proliferate, to multiply. And then we're gonna be able to take those dermal papilla cells and put them back into your head where as each hair cell cycles, it is going to be able to regenerate that hair a little bit thicker. And the reason for that is because when your hair is, at least these hairs up here, when your hair is cycling every single time it cycles, it loses a couple of dermal papilla cells and it loses. These guys don't, these guys stay the same. They keep the exact same number of dermal papilla cells that they've always had. But these deep B cells, they get smaller and smaller and smaller in population. So if you can regenerate those and add some back in, well then instead of growing nice thin hair because there's fewer dermal papilla cells, now they're gonna grow a thick one. The more dermal papilla cells you have, the thicker your hair grows, okay? So cryopreserving for somebody who's on the younger side of 45, cryopreserving is gonna be the next big thing. This isn't gonna help people who have complete slick baldness. That's not gonna get you there. But if you're younger than 45 and you have hair loss in your family, well, now there's this other box, this other bucket of therapy that will be available to you. And it's gonna be fantastic because for those patients who have preserved their hair, they're gonna be able to have another treatment that's specifically tailored just for them. Now you can't use stem cells to just do any old thing. These will only be dermal papilla cells that are tailored to your dermal papilla cells up here, okay? But if you end up using what is called the cell expansion service, the cell expansion service is going to be able to allow you to regrow that hair, rejuvenate that hair as the hair cycles. It might be that those hair cycles after five or 10 years end up needing another treatment, but that's why you have hair in the tissue bank. So this is why it's so exciting because now we're going to be looking at another whole set of treatments that patients can avail themselves of. So if you're in these categories on the youngest side of 45, you've got hair loss in your family, you've still got a little bit of hair up here, you're looking at the prospect of surgery, you're maximizing yourself on your meds, definitely keep those hairs, definitely be on those meds, then you're gonna be able to do the newest treatment, which is gonna be hair rejuvenation by cloning those dermal papilla cells of your very own. I can't wait.